casting one of America's most popular actresses, the star of the television classic The Nanny and author of two best-selling books and very involved in legislation on behalf of women's health care and health rights. Fran Drescher, welcome to Clout. Hey, hi, happy to be here. How you doing? Well, you were a big star at the Democratic debate at the Kodak Theater. The that Cam- was a the- very exciting night. I really had to pinch myself that I was even there witnessing such a historic evening. I mean, just to see the two of them sitting up there and debating, it was just, you know, it's just amazing when you think that less than a 100 years ago, you know, neither, um, you know, the African-American or the woman had a, even a right to vote. And now they're running for president. It's a beautiful thing. What Only was in the America. Moment, tell us the moment that you knew that Hillary Clinton was your candidate. Um, you know, I think that Hillary is just really very straightforward in her answers, and I understand what she's saying. And I like, I, she seems really well prepared. And I, I saw this um, this thing on um, on arts and entertainment uh, that was a biography about her, like a documentary. And really, from the time she was a young woman, when she even graduated, um, you know, valedictorian at um, at Wellesley, she was just so passionate about everything. And you know, when she, she went to that school, it so opened up her eyes from her provincial upbringing in the Midwest and. You know, she became friends with people of all different ethnicities, and they got to church together, and she wrote to her parents, and she thought that they would change as she had changed, but she realized that it was she who had changed because of her exposure, and they really had stayed the same, and she wrote to her friend who was being interviewed, and he said that she said, I'll never be the same again. I'll never go back to the way I was, the way things were before. There's too much to to fight for and make better and make right. And at her graduation, they had hired this guy who was like a real talking head to do the commencement speech, probably just pulled it out of the bottom drawer of his file cabinet and starts reading this stuff that had no relevance to the mid-60s and what was going on, that she was so drawn into and in terms of you know civil liberties and women's rights and you know the the state of the nation and and global politics and you know the war and uh, her friend recalled that who had written her acceptance speech and when she got up and she was like this little girl in a cap and gown and she totally didn't say the speech that a friend wrote but absolutely set this guy straight that you know that's the la- what he ever he said was like the last thing we should be thinking about because we are the leaders of tomorrow and we have to see where we're at in this world right now and everybody hey, hey, just what? Fran, I've I've got it. You got to go. We got to go because guess right, well, who we tell have? Everybody, oh, hold on, hold on. We've got we've got some dear friends of that's yours cool. on Watch the line. Town Hall meeting tonight on the Hallmark Network at nine, and David Letterman tonight. Hillary will be on both those. And and if you do nothing else, get out and vote on Tuesday. Thank you, thank you so much. For You're me. very and welcome. We're going to go to your friends Ted Danson and Mary for. Steeper. Just make sure who you vote for is voting for you. <laughs> okay. All right. Say that hello was, to Mary. Yes, and we're going to do that right now. That was Fran Drescher.